All right, ladies and gentlemen, here were your sample problems. Uh, a squared minus 100, again, notice this fits that form uh, because 100 is a square number. As it turns out, the square root of that is 10. So this is a minus 10 and a plus 10. What multiplies to be negative 100 and adds to be 0? This one. I didn't say it in the last video, but 144 is a square number, happens to be the square root of 12. So this one will be b minus 12, b plus 12. Negative 12 times positive 12 is negative 144. Positive 12 plus negative 12 makes 0. Multiplies to be negative 144, adds to be 0. All right. That was, uh, that's those ones there. If you've got any questions, again, make sure you address them. But let's go ahead and look at the next special case called a perfect square trinomial. And perfect square trinomials are similar to difference of squares, um, though we recognize them differently. Okay, Perfect square trinomials look like this. You've got a square number in the front and back, right? First term and third term. But then the middle term is 2ab. Right, uh, which is uh, like the square root of these two numbers multiplied by two. Uh, we can get that same effect sometimes with a min negative sign there too, right? Like if this is a uh, a negative number, then that will also happen. So this will always factor into this form, and this will always factor into this form. A plus b squared or a minus b squared. So let's look at some examples. Here we have x plus 4x. Now, this should actually be 4. Uh, I made a mistake. I caught it here when I was looking at it, but my file wouldn't let me change the number. So uh, if you're doing inner notes, make sure you change that to a 4. This should be a 4. Uh, so here we have square number 1, square number 4. So this fits the a squared plus 2ab uh, plus b squared because 2 times 1 times 2 is 4. So this factors into a plus 2 squared, right? This is a square number. This is 2 times a, b. 2 times 1 times 2. That makes 4. So this is a plus 2 squared. Now notice, the other way that you can think about this is what multiplies to be 4 and adds to be 4. Well, that's 2 and 2. So that's a plus 2 times a plus 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 plus 2 is 4. Notice that we're just reducing this to a plus 2 squared because those two things are multiplying together. Same with this one here, right? We could look at this and say what multiplies to be 64 and what adds to be negative 16. And when we do that, we find that it's negative 8 and negative 8. So this is, oops, I lost my 8. x minus 8 times x minus 8. Or x minus 8 squared. So a perfect square trinomial is really just when we're multiplying by the same number twice, right? x minus 8, x minus 8. Negative 8 times negative 8 makes positive 64. Negative 8 plus negative 8 makes negative 16. They add together and they work. Okay, So the, the same logic that we used for the first set of problems, you can use for these special sets as well. They just, these ones have these uh, special patterns that all, will always show up, okay? All right, a couple more examples for you to do, uh, and then we've got one more thing to learn about finding zeros, so we will see you in the next video in a couple minutes.